What's good, you guys? This is Trucker Six TV talking to you right now. Welcome to my top five characters in Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. This is the very first top five of anything because I don't do it because they're just based on a person's opinion. One person can argue, "Oh, why do you pick that character? This character is way more better." So yeah, most top fives are provided with facts or opinions. That's all I can say. For me, I'll state whatever's on my mind as to why they're my favorite characters. Ever since the new DLC came out, it's just started to hit me that I got my top five right there. So let's begin. Number five goes to Link from The Legend of Zelda, the original competitor from the Super Smash Bros. series. He has been my favorite since Super Smash Bros, the very first one. I just prefer a swordsman over a gun or a regular brawler. Because, why not? Swords are cool. Although his design and attacks have changed over the years, his moveset on Smash are the same, but... There's only one minor thing I dislike about the change in Wii U. It's when when you spam the A button, I don't think they have this in regular Smash, but I don't know, it's been so long. But in Melee and Brawl for sure is that if you spam the A button, he will keep on attacking, attacking, attacking. That's what I like about having Link as a character, is that you kept spamming the A button over and over. But in this version, yeah, he doesn't have this. Like I said about his movesets, they're all the same as ever. I think it's been like a good 4, 5, 6 years since I last played Brawl or any Smash games. And as soon as I pick Link in Wii U, his movesets, I already remember in the back of my head. And just like that, I got two stops right there. Number 4, goes to Dark Pit. In Brawl, Pit was my main, but ever since the Wii U came out, his booster has been changed entirely different. Not entirely different, I just haven't played Brawl in a while, but I can't remember what was his moveset, but I clearly remember, I do not remember having the B left, B right, B down, and then when you spam the A button, the A button has changed a lot, so yeah. Well, we're talking about Dark Pit, not Pit himself. I think Dark Pit is a little bit more, slightly stronger than Pit in Smash Wii U. A dislike about Dark Pit is when you fire the arrow, it does not curve up, it does not curve down. As soon as you fire it, it takes a while to a certain point where you can actually curve it. Dark Pit shields have been coming handy from time to time against long range attacks. Or even if you've seen the previous highlight when Ryu did that short you can and he just went underneath and went over me. For some reason he just fell off. The shield has been quite handy from time to time. My favorite move when I'm using Dark Pit is when I use the Electroshock Arm, whatever you call it. Well, it's just when you press B and right or left, that's when he does the Electroshock. His B left, B right has a little bit more longer range than Pit, I believe. And as soon as you counter something or your opponent, his B left, B right actually emphasizes and adds some effect to when it actually hits compared to Pit's. When, you hit, when Pit hits something, it's just a quick attack. One thing I like about Dark Pit when he's off the stage is that he has wings. So if someone's trying to B smash you or A smash you downward, you can count on your wings to back you up unless he hits you really hard, then you're screwed. But overall, you can count on your wings to come back safely and soundly. Even after three times, you can count on the B up, up B for another safe return if your wings failed you. And another reason why I like Dark Pit is that he's like a cooler anti-hero whatever. Even though I don't play Kid Icarus, I just like Dark characters. Sorry I have to do this to you guys, but number 3 in Smash goes to Mega Man. If you're a new beer and you have no idea what my channel was about in the past, it was emphasizing on Mega Man. Mega Man Star Force, Mega Man Battle Network, Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man AMVs. And then other Let's Plays, such as Pokemon Kingdom Hearts and Yu-Gi-Oh. But in Smash, he's number 3 right now. You understand why once you see my number 2 pick and why he's number 3. But anyway, 
I just remember as soon as I saw Mega Man was confirmed in Smash, I was so hyped that he's in it. Most of his moveset is just basic, it's just the Mega Buster, Rush Coil, and then all the Master Robot's arm moves. From Crash Man, Metal Man, Elect Man, Wood Man, Flame Man, uh, Slash Man, oh my god, so many, so many. There's like 90 plus Master Robots and they select like under 30 or even less than that, under 18 to be in Smash with Mega Man. When you have to get close to an opponent, you have to rely on Top Man Spin Attack to help you get there. That's my favorite when I'm trying to get close range with my opponent and then I'll fire off the charge shot when possible. I don't use Metal Blade or Crash Bomber for range attacks unless I want to psych my opponent out on what range attacks I'm going to use. A downside when you're using a lead shield is that once you use it, you can't use any other moves and you just have to fire it off or just trying to grab your opponent. Flame Sword Slash Call, I'm okay with it, it's just Slash Call is kind of tricky when I'm in midair. There were times that I want to use Elex Spark or Flame Burst, but I end up getting the Mega Upper or Mega Man Sliding. That was just, yeah. Either I'm lucky to get away with it or it's just a downside. And then Mega Man's most powerful attack is the Mega Buster. If fully charged and someone gets hit, then they are screwed, depending on how much health they have. But overall, you just gotta know when to use it, and if you're against a character such as Dark Pit or Mario, you're just gonna be able to be aware that they might reflect it back at you really hard, and you're KO. But overall, Mega Man is my third pick in Smash Bros, and a good warm-up when I pick up the game. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this is how Mega Man got pushed for third place in my top five, and he was replaced by Roy. If they hadn't released Roy in Smash, in the Wii U version anyways, then Mega Man would have been number two then. Overall, his B left, B right is the same as ever, such as Cena and Marks but a little bit more explosive to it. A major dislike to Roy's moveset is when you press the A button. That's just... That's just bad right there. It's just a slow backhand slash uppercut. And you can hardly do anything with that A smash, whether it's left, right, or down. Well, down smash is kind of good when you're in the air. A smash is kind of useful from time to time, but overall, whether it's A left, A right, or just the regular A, it's bad and disappointing. I have to rely on the B left, B right, the four swords, the double edged sword in order to give me some ground. Or to put it simply, to keep attacking my opponent really closely. He was my most favorite character in Melee back in 2001 when I was in elementary. I remember I kept using him over and over again in the classic and adventure mode. I remember seeing colors when I ever used the B left, B right continuously, like red, purple, blue, whatever. I'm like, damn, I like this guy way better than Mark. But I do believe that his B smash, when you just press the B button, the charge shot, the charge attack, I believe it's changed, because if I remember correctly, I'm just going by memory. I haven't seen the videos on YouTube on when he, what, what was he like in the past. But when you press the B button, I think it's hella different. I think it was the same as Mars, but a little bit more explosive to it, like as he is now. A little more flair. His B smash is handy whenever you can use it. I use it when I have good range of my opponent. On a side note, I want to talk about his counter when you press down B. It's really handy when you're able to use it, except when your opponent knows that you might gotta put it on them. So you just need to know when to counter them. But yeah, back to the B smash, you just gotta know when to use it and how much range do you got on your opponent, that's all. You'll see it towards the end of this clip, of the end of my number 2 hits, right about now. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, we got Robin, my most favorite and used character in Smash Wii U. To be honest, when I started actually uploading those highlights of Smash back in March or February, 
when I just got like bored and got nothing to do, I'll just pick up the game, smash, and just play. And when I pick Robin, I don't know why, like after I lose a game or so, I was like, I want to keep on playing as Robin. I want to keep playing as him. I don't know why. It's just I just like playing as Robin for some reason. I don't know what's about him, but I just like playing as Robin. Not only this is based on opinion, not only this is based on facts, but this is going by the heart. Even if you may categorize by opinion, this is going by the heart. Although a major dislike about Robin in Smash is just his speed. Like when you're trying to run towards an opponent, his speed is terrible. But I guess it's well balanced to his character. Robin overall is well balanced with his electric, his fire, his sword moves, they're all well balanced. It took a while but I was able to understand how to use Robin competitively. I was able to learn Robin competitively from other players on the glory on how to use Robin such as she keeps spamming on arc fire and then charge shot, arc fire and then another charge shot, and when you're fully charged go for another arc fire and then hell thunder. Or is it just Thunder? I don't know. He keeps saying weird stuff. In my opinion, I don't think Robin's mostly a close range fighter as you can see. You just have to keep on spamming on the A button and hopefully rely on the Thunder and the Arc of Fire to back you up. And when I'm badly hurt, I require the down B smash and heal back up when I'm in close range. Overall, Robin's my number one character in Smash. Whether I'm losing or winning, I just like having fun using Robin and even competitive plays, I just rely on him. By the way, 0% win, not even bad. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, comment to this performance if you're a new viewer and like what you see, click the subscribe button, this is Shrock 6 TV and I'm signing out.